We must be getting close to whatever the enemy is hiding. Their hostilities are escalating on all fronts. The single-minded cruelty of the new hive reminds me of the old warlords. It's as though I never left the deep forests. Before all this, I was one of the last in the tower to have ever killed a ghost. But it seems that old brutality never stopped following us. If the Hive have taken our light, let us take their ferocity. Let us force them into the Mindscape and smother their false light. Let us tear their schemes from their minds. Return to the Battle Guardian. Show them they've done nothing but teach us how to destroy them. You have done well. The Hive are in disarray. I spoke to the Scion running the equipment while you were gone. The one Keitel trusts above the others. I used words while I allowed him to use telepathy. He hosted me in his mindscape. It was not what I had envisioned. A neutral place where we met as equals. He shared with me openly. He sees flashes of gray and red in the minds of the Hive. He interprets this as a vision. We will soon know where to attack. I was struck by the tone of his thoughts. His actions are heavy with a sense of duty. He does not enjoy working on an unwilling mind, no matter how wicked it may be. I mentioned Keitel, and he radiated warm feelings. Harsh, brutal feelings, but still warm. He and Keitel share an old friendship. Crow has been sulking more than usual lately. Perhaps I should encourage him to speak with the Scion as well. It may do him good. I will contact you when we have taken the new information from the Hive. Until then, Iron Will, Guardian. I didn't expect your people to deploy a cannon quite that large. I don't think the Hive did either. A cannon is unexceptional, no matter the size. But a Guardian with the tusks to climb into one and fire themselves at a Hive command ship? When death is no longer an obstacle, it becomes... a remarkable teacher. Lessons learned in your Crucible. And the Iron Banner. Lord Saladin is very proud. He may not appreciate the comparison, but he thinks like a Primus. Empress, I know this is a sensitive topic, but how long do you believe your forces can commit to a sustained war against our enemies? Until the last of us draws their final breath. We have a loose assessment of your numbers, estimates on your fleet in orbit. If this is to become a permanent alliance, our war with the Hive is not a matter of strategy or force, Commander, but one of honor. Billions died on Toro Bottle. Countless more on other worlds of the Empire that collapsed to infighting or further invasion by Zivu Arath. Outside our rituals, the death of even one Cabal demands reprisal. A life for a life. The Hive have accrued a great debt. And who will raise a monument to your people's honor when the last Cabal dies? Waging a war of vengeance. You. Stop and concern, no chances keep on passing us by. We're looking up.